All right, guys. Welcome to my first ever. Oh, wait, I'm. A, I'm. A, this. This is probably going to go on my YouTube channel. So. All right, guys. What is up? And welcome to the first ever look at Seraphine, the singer of Pink. I don't actually know what her uh, her league nickname is. Okay, I was I was going a little over the top there. Yo, what's up, guys? So we're loading in right now. I'm going Flash Ghost Seraphine to try her out. And I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do Phase Rush. I know her Q and her E are like offensive abilities, and obviously her alt and her Q like double proc. So I'm wondering like an auto double Q or auto double E would proc Phase Rush. It might actually be pretty good. So, yo, she's just chilling. Hello there. Okay, you, you can't be closing your eyes on the battlefield, Seraphine. All right, let me go through her abilities real quick. Um, okay, stage presence. Every third base ability Seraphine cast will echo, automatically casting a second time. Additionally, Seraphine draws inspiration from the music within her allies, creating a note for each nearby ally whenever she casts an ability. For each note, Seraphine's attacks gain 25 attack range and deal an additional 7 magic damage and consume the note. Okay, so you have to be near uh, your allies to get used to this. So obviously not going to be that helpful mid lane unless your jungler is coming, but obviously it'll scale for team fights and stuff like that. It'll be useful in skirmishes. Not bad. High note. Seraphine reacts a pure note, dealing 69 magic damage, increased by target's missing health percentage, so it's an execute. Up to 109 uh, damage below 25% health. Okay. Oh, so the percent... I don't know if the percent scales. And this one goes up by 25 per rank. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll start with my Q for now. Okay, I missed my E. Seraphine unleashes a heavy sound wave dealing 71 magic damage. Oh, does my next spell double proc? So if I double, if I hit my E and I double proc it, then they'll get rooted. And if they're already slowed before I do that, then they get stunned. I get it. Oh, let's try her W. Okay, so it, it gives her allies move speed and everyone gives a shield. But if it's my second proc, it also heals them based on missing health. So let's try that. Oh, so it's like a redemption, essentially. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, what I'm wondering is if I should max E or Q. What do you guys think? First blood. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Q for this first game, and then I'll, I'll reevaluate later. Wait, maybe E is the way. Wait, so okay, okay. Cooldown goes up by a second on on each point. Okay, for both of them, mana cost goes up by ten, damage goes up by fifteen, and the minion damage goes up on E. I think I'm gonna do Q here. Because the double proc Q is, it seems pretty nice too. Oh yeah, he's, he might roam. Oh, never mind. I'm just getting some early mana and shit. So I could just spam stuff without stressing. How did that miss? Okay, I need to work on my E positioning a little bit, guys. We're struggling. Dude, I think what's, I think my problem is actually that I have like 50 more ping than I'm used to. It makes it it makes it really awkward for me. Like it, it's actually kind of throwing me off because I'm like have to guess my skill shots. Okay, I'm my ulti now. I think we got him. JK. Dude, that was such a sick combo though. So the R, I didn't get to read it because I was doing stuff. But yeah, Serving takes a stage right there. Captain Force that charms for 1.25 seconds and deals 176 magnet damage. Any champions, oops, any champions struck, including allies, become a part of the performance. Her damage is uh seems a bit low, but I feel like she must scale pretty hard as like a supportish mid. But honestly, yeah, this game is like way harder for me just because of the ping. Ooh. Oh, he don't miss! I actually don't think I kill this guy. Oh, right here? Cute, yo! Thank you, Nami. Thank you, Rapunzel. Oh yeah, definitely Emax into Q into just the Q is better than yeah. I was mistaken. I don't think the Q Max is the way. D 
The initial damage literally only gets ah. I was I was looking at my spells, okay. But yeah, the double E into your Q to last hit the creeps is, is really nice, actually. Makes a lot of sense. Get him, Gravesy. Get him! Yoink! Thank you. Yo, we can do this, we can do this. That was an insane combo! What? The double ulti charm into double E root stun? Oh my god. I do not think they saw that coming at all. Okay, um, I'm gonna get CR boots here, and then Luden's Tempest. Ooh, I'll do Everfrost. That sounds pretty good. The active will deal the damage in the cone. It'll slow, and then I can just use my E, and it'll be a root or into a stun, basically. So I won't, I won't necessarily need my ult or like another ally to to trigger it with the. With the Everfrost, actually sounds really good. Dude, I promise you guys, if I when I get to play her with not 90 ping, it'll she'll feel so much better. What's going on, YouTube viewership audience? How's it going? This is totally a normal intro for the Seraphine video that I'm playing right now. I hope you guys enjoy the first look at me playing Seraphine, the pink-haired lady singer. Uh, extraordinaire, she's very awesome, super cool, supportive AP mid laner, do it all, heal, stun, roots, executes, she's got it in the bag and her voice and her music and everything is just a little cherry on top, don't flame me, I like Seraphine, I'm a little biased because she did put me on the lore, on her universe, I'm officially part of the game, not trying to brag or anything, but you know, I am literally in the league world thanks to Seraphine, so Want to stay on her good side, guys. Anyway, hope you enjoy this pop-off video. Don't forget that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more of the juiciest content out there. And drop that genius gang or thinking in your head for daily. 10 IQ points, guys. Thanks for watching and enjoy. See you on the next one. Bye. All right, now that's over. I'm going to start this game. Too bad the YouTube viewers will never know my real voice. <laughs> I think she was worried that. Oh my god, please die, they're so low! Wait, I'm kind of smurfing this fight, what? I'm missing everything. I stopped smurfing it after two seconds into the fight. Wait, our team's smurfing it though. We got this. I don't know if the I don't know if the E is hard to hit or I'm just I'm just I'm just it's just a ping. It's kind of it's kind of throwing me off though. That was a crazy combo though. Wait, me and Nami can just perma heal each other. This is broken. Watch this root. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, I got her once. Promise you can just run. Oh, nice, Jaxi. Da na na da 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 no! That, oh no, I didn't miss, she just healed. Damn it. Okay, wait. Dude, I think my ult just came up. My bad. I wish I had, I really wish I had rushed Everfrost. It's a 45 second cooldown, and I could literally use it to get, to, to set up my E, which would then root into stun. This Archangel is doing nothing, and Everfrost has mana and ability haste on itself, which would have been really nice.
It's fine. When I get Everfrost, it's Smurf. It's it's Smurf era. Watch this. I said, watch this. Let's go. Damn, the ulti range is so big. Okay, nice. Now we got Everfrost. Now we let the games begin, baby. I'm coming, and I got Ghost and ulti for this. That was a disgusting combo. I changed my mind. Seraphine's the best champion in the game. Let's go, Seraphine. And we got the ghost reset. Wait, can she dab? What's her dance? <laughs> I'm test. Don't question her. I'm doing her. I'm testing her things. Yeah, Seraphine. Oh yeah, I'm singing. I'm a pop star. Okay, that 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 combo actually looked insane in the dragon fight. Maybe we do got the Seraphine tech after all. Watch this. I cannot cast. Dude, I had such a nice three-man ulti into stun combo. I couldn't cast anything. I'm so sad. That was gonna be so good. I was going for Bobby big plays mode. I'm so sorry I let Seraphine down. She's gonna take me off her wall, dude. No, what have I done? Dr. Flankenstein. Oh, that didn't stun. I think I, I think I got him. He got rooted. Take no prisoners. I'm not in range. Give me extra range. He's gonna try to cue me. Watch this. And now Graves gets him. Hold your applause, guys. There's more gameplay to be had. Oh, I got exactly off Death Cow off that. That was actually a five head sacrifice. Let's go. Okay, I have 654 AP, so let me see my ratios and stuff now. So the note deals an additional 66 damage. The Q deals 467, and it can deal extra up to 700. So if they're under 25, it does 700 execute. That's pretty nice. Okay, so the Q and the E damage are pretty close, but the Q is the X it does deal more based on missing health. So if you land like an R into like double Q, that's actually kind of lit. Oh my, I killed him. Oh my god, we just 2v5! Let's go! Me and me and Puppy going off! Hey! That was actually kind of nuts. The max, the max range ulti finishing A Soul into the three-man root. Oh my. Okay, what we just did was actually pretty broken. Man, she actually scales really well though, just because of how, like, how insane. Damn, the game's over, we just won. The, just how insane her ranges are and her AP ratios. The scaling's good, man. That was nuts. Yo, GG's. First time Seraphine, by the way. Hey, a little, a little slow start, but started to come online really hard. That was crazy.
First time Seraphine, baby. Thank you, Riot Games, for designing such personality, artist, champion design, gameplay. 10 out of 10, everything's perfect. I'm not saying this because I don't want her to take me off her wall. You know, I'm not biased or anything. Maybe a little bit. I'm not trying to flex or anything, but yeah, I am a part of the League uh, Legends lore and universe, and she put me on her wall. That means I exist in League of Legends lore. So I need to stay on Seraphine's good side, guys. I cannot risk, I cannot risk her taking me out of the League universe, because I'll basically die in League if that happens.